So today, protein pancakes. Delicious and tasty and good for you. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Come on now. Hey everybody, Dan Dwyer in here. Welcome to Live Center Stage, your channel for discovering that it's never too late to live your fashion. Today, uh, we're introducing the Live Center Stage Kitchen. You know, this is going to be an ongoing series of videos that will present homemade recipes and ideas that fuel your body with delicious and nutrient rich whole foods so you have the energy and the health to pursue and live that passion. Because the secret to a sustainable long-term nutrition plan is you got to enjoy what you're eating, you know, and equally important is fueling your body with real food and not junk. By simply eliminating processed food and consuming only real unprocessed foods, you'll be well on your way to being successful in your nutrition and your wellness goals. So our very first Live Center Stage from the Kitchen recipe is a quick, tasty, nutritious protein pancake that I really enjoy almost every day. It's a delicious first meal that has that great balance of protein, carbs, and fat that we discussed in the last video. Uh, I like to prioritize protein in my first meal of the day because as we age, we require more protein to preserve and build muscle. And eating lots of carbs first, like most traditional breakfast food that also include tons of processed sugar, it makes it more difficult to hit your protein goals later in the day. Also, protein is the most satiating macronutrient, so you feel full longer and unlike many high carb traditional grab and go breakfast foods like bagels and muffins that, you know, leave us feeling hungry shortly after consuming and then they bring on that mid morning energy crash and snack attack. That describes most pancakes, but not these protein pancakes. So let's get into it. Okay. So here we are going to start our uh, very first live center stage in the kitchen segment with the protein pancake. It's so quick. It's so easy. It shouldn't be this delicious, but you start with just a quarter cup of rolled oats. To that, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then uh, I like lots of cinnamon, so I'm gonna put some cinnamon in there. And uh, I like to add a little bit of uh, Himalayan sea salt on top of that. Just a few shakes. And uh, you're done with your dry stuff then. I usually stir that up just a little bit to get the cinnamon and the baking powder in through there. You might notice our pan over here is heating and uh, it's got a little bit of butter on it. We use real butter because you know we're into real food here. So it's just melting, getting hot, and getting ready. So to that we're gonna add uh, one egg. So we'll crack her open here. Fire that in for the protein and really good fat. Uh, a little bit more protein. I got a quarter of a cup of egg whites. Uh, you can use two egg whites if you have eggs and you just want to use the whites out of them and just chuck the yolks but we're just using the egg whites for now. And then a quarter cup of Greek yogurt and uh, the Greek yogurt make sure you get the stuff that's not sweetened. I mean it's gonna have sorry for the fingers here it's gonna have uh, some sugar already in it anyways naturally that's pretty good. So then once you get all those ingredients in there, you're, you're good to go. That's it. You got to stir it up a little bit. Great combination of protein, carb, and fat. And by the way, if you want to make it like a protein explosion, instead of using the oatmeal, if you want to keep it low carb and higher protein, you can use about a half of a scoop of protein powder instead. I always like to add a little bit of vanilla for the sweetness. And then just pour it on over here. We'll make a few pancakes. Oh yeah, that's ready to go. You bet. They're kind of 
kind of come into each other here a little bit. Sometimes I just make one big one because I'm going to eat them all anyway. And then uh, you just kind of uh, wait for those guys to uh, get brown on one side. And then in a few minutes, we're going to flip them over. Hey, it's coming up to uh, St. Patty's Day. Kind of, There's my uh, four-leaf clover as they all kind of came in the middle there. I didn't say it'd be pretty. I said it would be tasty, and uh, we'll stick to that. We'll give it a few minutes, come back, and uh, flip them. <laughs> We're good to go. So we just turn that stove off. And there you have it, folks. The protein pancakes ready to go. So for 100% goodness, adding some great carbs in there, I'm going to take a half a cup of homemade applesauce and just put that all over the top. You'll never feel like having processed syrup with artificial maple flavoring again. There you go. First meal of the day. These pancakes taste so good, it's really hard to believe that they are so good for you. Check out the difference between taking control of your nutrition with real whole food servings and an alternate fast food process serving. Here's the values from a single hotcake serving at a very popular chain restaurant. These values are from their website and they're for pancakes with a single serving of processed syrup product. At least that's what they call it. And you know you get the extra one. So Starting with the calories, the chain has 550 compared to 279 in the protein pancake. So calories are almost exactly half, even though the portion size of the protein pancake is substantially larger. The protein pancake, including the applesauce, has 32 carbs, or one third of that of the chain. To put this in perspective, 93 carbs is 58% of the total carbs that I usually eat every day. And remember that protein that we need? Well, 22 grams of protein in the protein pancake compared to eight from fast food. Finally, sugar. The restaurant pancake contains 46 grams of processed sugar, while the real food version, there are 14 grams of sugar. And check it out, 12 of those grams are from the all natural applesauce which by the way is insanely easy to make and I'll be uh, showing you that in an upcoming video. So you're gonna give them a try? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, by the way, don't forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll always know when new videos come out. Of course, I'd appreciate it uh, if you'd leave a comment, like, or share the video with any friends who might be interested as this all helps to grow the channel. Also, if you'd like to check out that last uh, week's video that I was talking about uh, dealing with macronutrients, um, I'll leave a link here in the description below. In addition to being so much better nutritionally than the nutrient-lacking, carb-rich, energy-crash-inducing fast food option, these protein pancakes are incredibly more delicious, satisfying, and filling to give you the energy to go out there, live your center stage with the performance of your lifetime. I'll see you in the next video.